Hey, Fetro family. Watch me eat. I wanted to eat fufu and soup, but the cassar leaf was looking so tempting. I decided to eat cassar leaf. Cassar leaf is made out of the leaves of yuga. They call it yuga here. It's cassava. And there's a lot of things that you make out of cassava. And we from West Africa, we eat a lot of cassava, depending on what part of West Africa from. Yeah, my country, we fish cassava all kinds of way. We eat it with gari. I hope you know that the Nigerians eat a lot of gari too. Um, it's a dry processed cassava. We eat it with, fix it with dipper. Something is like fufu, but it's made from cassava, dry cassava, and pounded and sifter. Make it out of powder, like the flour. We call it dipper. Uh, cassava, you can also fix cassava cake, which I'm good at. Uh, cassava and coconut. You can eat cassava roasted with coconut. It's a traditional food for some people in my country. You can face cassava with domboy. It's something like uh, fufu, but it's harder than fufu. And you pound it. Uh, you can make also cassava and gravy. There's a lot of things you can make out of cassava. So we also eat the leaf of cassava. It's a green vegetable leaf, which you pound or ground. And it's very tasty, depending on how you season it. Cassava leaf is mainly eaten by the Va ethnic group in my country, Liberia. That's their tribal food. But I'm not a Va. I'm from Lofa and Bum County, which are Pele and Loma. But I only speak the Pele. And after you have pounded it, in Liberia, we normally pound our cassava leaf, squeeze the water in the liquid, or it's a green liquid, either trash it or do something else with it. Season it nicely, pop all your meat or whatever you want to put in it. You pop boil it and season your guitar leaf and put it in there and let it boil. You either use a little okra to soften it or you use baking soda a little bit or you use country soda. You can make tabagi. We have a traditional food from my county, one of my counties, Lofa, which is tabagi. You can also make kisar leaf tabagi. But it is refreshing. It's nice. So I hope you are around to join me, Felicia. That's it. And I don't like to eat alone. I really normally don't have good appetite when i'm alone i like to eat with people so i eat little by little but this case i'll leave i will try my best to finish it because i have some cow foot in there i have some trap i have uh the layers the fowl chicken the dry one i made my own dry chicken season it and dry it up I have some beef, dry beef, which I made myself. Um, pepper, onion. If you want to, you can put a little peanut butter in there with all the salt or with all the okra, depending how you want it. Some people also put beans in there. They have the flat beans. I don't know how it's called, but called the country beans. You can boil that also and put it in there. It depending on your liking, what you like. 
Sure. <laughs> that helps, okay? Fisha, stop calling me. I'm on live. <laughs> I have some cake. Come and join me. Let's eat. I will call you later, Fisha. Let me do my own face button. The children come on here and eat. So myself, I just bake this cake. I bake a pineapple upside down cake, which is this. This one. Forget about my dining room table. How it look messy. But they are not dyed. They are all white papers. And I made a little cocoa lemon cake. I love lemon. So I like to taste lemon mostly in my food or whatever I do or drink. I also made some juice last night. You know, <laughs> I borrowed my niece juicer. I have not returned it, but it's not mine. But I'm making the best use of it while it's in my possession. She's not running behind me. I made some beet, made some beet juice. I hope you can see a beet. I got papa beet. I got uh, ginger, lemon, and carrots in here with a little bit of Hawaii punch. So I do my own creation. Whatever it is, I make it out of my own. I add my own flavoring to it to make it taste good or taste to my liking. So join me and let us eat some cassava leaf. Mm. It is so yummy. I love a lot of pepper, but my son don't really eat pepper like that, so I can be very careful how I cook pepper. I have some fried pepper that I add to my food for my own taste. You don't impose on people what they don't want or what they don't like. We always have to learn how to respect people for who they are and what they are. It's not because I love spicy, spicy food. So I expect everybody to love spicy food. No. That's why I always have some fried pepper. Yeah, whatever I want to eat and I want it spicy, I just add on to it. Well, let's eat. This is so nice. I will press myself because I know my fingers. You know, I say I am. If you don't say I am, nobody will say that I am. Mm. I have some casting. Mm -hmm. mm. I like Africa, my homeland. I love that country. I love that continent. I love my nation. Mm. But if you don't travel, you don't get to appreciate what you got. But when you travel, then you will know the value of your own setting or where you come from. Nobody look down on my country, no matter what. I love Liberia. I love Liberia. I love Liberia to my bones. Learn how to appreciate what you got. Stop criticizing because we see a lot in the advanced world. It's not all that glitter that is gold. There are so many things that happen here that they just one fourth of it, one third of it happening in our country and people blow up on the internet. As if to say they are not seeing worse than that in advanced country. But once I'm not for you, I turn to look for all negativity to post it on you. Let us learn how to appreciate what God gave us. Let us learn it and love what we got. Liberia is a blessed country. We went through so many years of war and I can tell you I went through every bit of it. I was there. I felt the pinch. I felt it was by God's grace.
that I'm here today. But I love my country. I love my country very much. Nobody can tell me anything about Liberia. Now that's it. When I'm alone eating, I'll get so full fast. Mm. I'll see you later on. I'm not done with it yet. I eat a little by the time. And just eat it then. And this is my cake. I'm going to sample this cake. It's so moist. People that know me know my fingers. And I will boast about it. I was brought up the right way. To be a working woman. To be a housewife. To be a married woman. A single woman. Everything. Anything that comes my way. I'm prepared for it. With the help of God. So if one thing can work. I switch on the other side. Uh, learn how to be productive. Learn how to be creative. And learn how to accept who you are and what you are. 